and welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how to make a necklace using uh, these beads and also these metal charms. In order to create the necklace I will need some tools, I will need, I will need some pliers, chain nose pliers, a needle, a big eye beading needle, some scissors, a jump ring opener, pincers, and of course I will also need some thread uh, and some findings. I will use a lobster claw clasp, these small beads, glass beads, some uh, metal bead ends, and some jump rings. Uh, as you can see, I am using a magnet to attach the small metal parts so that they do not fall uh, off the table. Now that we have talked about the findings and the tools that we need, let's start making the necklace. I will begin by uh, creating the one end of the necklace with the lobster claw clasp. So as you can see uh, I will put the thread in two like this so that the necklace has more resistance. I will take the thread and put it on the needle like this and now I will take one of those tiny beads and put the bead on the needle and then on one of the two threads and now I will move my bead my glass bead to the end of the thread like this and right above the bead I will make a knot so that it keeps the bead in place like this this way the <coughs> glass bead, the small glass bead will not slip um, off my thread now I will take both threads and put them through my needle this way now I will take uh, the metal bead the bead end and put it through the needle as you can see the bead end has this orifice here and I will put the needle through this hole and bring it this way to the inside to the inside of my bead end and now as you can see my glass bead is inside my metal bead end Now with the pliers I will close this bead end this way and my thread 
is now staying in place inside my bead end. And as you can see, my glass bead is masked by this metal bead end. Now I will take the lobster claw clasp and put it on the hook of my bead end and I will close the hook of the bead end like this and I have attached my lobster claw clasp to my necklace and at this moment I can start adding the beads my beads now my uh, thread is on the needle like this and I will take my beads and start putting the beads on the needle I'll put alternatively dark and light brown beads this way and now I will move the beads on my thread and as you can see I have started to put the beads on my necklace so I will continue adding the beads and uh, for a while I will add alternatively dark brown and light brown beads and then I will also add some silver beads until I get to the towards the middle of my necklace and there I will show you how to attach the charms the metal charms so let's continue adding the beads And now I am getting closer to the central part of my necklace and I will start adding the charms. So in order to add the charms I will add some silver beads. So I will take this silver bead, put a charm on my needle like this and I will put another silver bead. So as you can see now, my charm is flanked by two silver beads. Let's add the two silver beads, let's see from a closer distance. So this is the silver bead, the, the charm with the silver beads and I will add it to my necklace like this and now I will add some more brown light brown beads like this so I have some brown beads and I will add the brown beads to my necklace like this 
Now again I will take one silver bead like this, a charm, and another silver bead. like this and I will add the next charm to my necklace now I will again add some brown beads I will count the number of brown beads so that everything looks symmetrical this way and now let's put some silver beads again one silver bead the charm and a second silver bead like this And now this is the center of my necklace. Now I have another two charms that I will add, making sure that everything remains symmetrical. On this side, just like on this other side. So this is the half of my, the half of my necklace and from this point on I have to follow the same pattern as on the other side so that my necklace remains nice and symmetrical. So let's continue simply to add the next beads using exactly the same pattern. And now I have created the same pattern on both sides and I have reached the end of my uh, necklace. And now let's add the bead end. So I will take the bead end and put the bead end on my needle. Let's see from a closer distance. So let's see from a closer distance. So this is the end of my necklace. And I will take the bead end and put the bead end on my needle, like this. So this is the bead end. Now I will take the small glass bead and put the glass bead on the needle this way. And now I will remove the needle as you can see my bead is at the moment on both threads now I will separate the two threads And I will take one thread out 
so that my bead remains on only one of the two threads. And now I will bring the bead inside my bead end here. And I will make a knot using the two threads I have got here. Like this. So I have the knot here and I will close the knot like this. So that my glass bead remains inside this metal bead end. Another detail that I wanted to mention was the fact that when you create the end of the necklace, you should make sure that there is not too much thread here so that the thread is visible, like this. So if you leave too much thread, the thread will be visible on the necklace, but you should not compress the beads too much because if they are too compressed, they will press on one another and since they are not identical as shape, they will start looking uneven. So they have to be a little loose, but not too much because if they are too far away from each other the thread will be visible and not too compressed because if they are too compressed the necklace will look uneven due to the uneven shape of the beads so let's make another knot So I'll make a second knot here. You can make more knots if you want, if you want to make sure that the necklace does not open. Like this. And now I will cut this thread with the scissors like this and I will try to hide the bead the glass bead under my metal bead so I have closed the metal bead with the pliers and as you can see the end of my thread is no longer visible neither the knot nor the glass bead that I have put at the end of my of my necklace now I have this hook here and I will take my magnet like this and I will take one of those jump rings from the magnet so I have taken this jump ring I will put the jump ring on my on the hook here like this and with the pliers I will close the end of my necklace this way and I can open now and close my necklace I am using the lobster claw clasp and the jump ring to close my necklace. And now let's see what the finished necklace looks like. I will remove the tools.
and let's put the necklace on the table to see what the finished necklace looks like. So this is the finished necklace. So as you can see I tried to uh, take into consideration that on both sides we should use the same colors of um, beads so that the necklace will look symmetrical like this. So this is our finished necklace, I hope you liked this uh, video and thank you for watching.